What's up friends, it's Mike again, glad to have you guys back. And since I've made my first reviews on the Secret Lab chairs, I've always gotten the same question. Which is gonna fit better, the Titan or the Omega? And that's a good question because the Omega is made for smaller to medium sized people and then the Titan is made for medium to bigger. And these are the recommended sizes for these chairs. So if you are in the middle, that's where it can be a bit confused. So to answer your question, I brought in the big guns. So we have Noah over here, he's 6'1". And then we have my brother John, he is 5'11". And then we have myself, I'm 5'7". And uh, man, you can't even see these guys' face. So as you can see, we have a dynamic set of heights and together we're gonna help you figure out which chair is gonna be the right one for you. So first of all, we're gonna go over some quick specs of the differences of the chairs. So from the wheels to the base of the chair, it's actually taller by four centimeters. And also the backrest is larger as well by like four centimeters. And as you can see, the seat is actually different on the Omega, it has these little wings. And that makes the width of the tight and wider by 18 centimeters. So I do think the main difference is in the seat in itself. And the Titan has an integrated lumbar support as well. Whereas the Omega has a pillow. So right now we're gonna test the different sizes with both John and Noah with the Omega and then the Titan. So here's John on the Omega. So the first thing you do wanna notice is uh, that John's feet are flat on the floor when the chair is at its lowest setting. And uh, when he puts it to max height, does it still touch the floor is the question. So only his front toes are touching, but that's okay. He can always move it lower. The next thing, how wide is the seat for you? Is there enough like wiggle room for your legs? Well, I can feel the sides touching most of the time when I just like sit normally. So I can definitely feel the wings. So I guess there's ample room of space for you. But what we do want to notice is the gap in between your knees from the seat. So if you spin sideways, there is a tiny gap. Because normally you would want to have some support behind your legs so that your feet aren't dangling. Because over time your legs may become numb and it will cause a lot of discomfort for a lot of people. But if you do take the lumbar support out, John can shift in. So uh, that kind of fixes the problem. Is that comfortable? Yeah. Okay. They but, aren't dangling as much. But you would like to use the lumbar support, right? Yeah, the lumbar support actually adds like so much comfortability to the seat. Okay, anyways, show us your three favorite gamer positions. First gamer position, where you have one knee under your butt, and you're just sitting like this. And the second one, it's like the most well-known one, where you sort of... <laughs> Usually there's a desk here, and then it sort of gains your knees, so it feels a lot more stable. Feels good with the lumbar support. Third one, crisscross, I guess. Oh. Whoa, did that just crack? Feels good. <laughs> yeah, it kind of cups your legs, so it's not as bad. So is it comfortable with your regular sitting positions with the Omega with your height? Yeah, so the, the wings actually get in the way a little bit for my various sitting positions, so I prefer a more wider seat my taste. And then what we want to notice is his shoulders as well because with the Omega it does kind of cup your shoulders in more on the side. Does that bother you? Yes, especially when I lean back. When you, whenever you like you lean back to relax, you really feel it sort of getting in the way for you to fully stretch. And the last part we want to notice is that his head is actually right at the very top of the chair as well. So if his torso was any taller it might like not fit that well because the pillow is like right at the top as well. And uh, for our final test, uh, we have the stability test. Can you recline the chair all the way down? And now you can uh, just just try to knock it over. This is not very good. Uh oh, oh the, the almost. So if he bends back a bit more, maybe. Okay, anyways, it, it looks to be pretty stable. Yeah, stable. So would you tell people that the Omega is a good fit for you? Uh, I would say I would need something a little bit bigger with like a wider base. So my legs aren't as restricted as much when I stretch it out. Okay, now it's time for Noah to be in the Omega. Okay, so obviously he's gonna fit a Titan a lot better, but I think with his size, it really like points out what doesn't fit with a bigger person with the Omega versus the Titan. So first, his feet are flat on the ground, right? And when you go fully up, is it still comfortable? It's a bit too high, right? Still relatively comfortable, but there is a little bit of an overhang. Okay, but that's okay, because you can always adjust it back down to a comfortable height for yourself. And the other thing is the seat, the width of the seat. How comfortable is that for you? Personally, it is a little tighter. It really cups me in, um, but my legs do hang over a little bit more than I would like it to. Even without the pillow or without with the, the pillow? pillow? It is a little bit better. It does push me back about two, three inches. So um, is that enough support now? That is, but unfortunately, 
I prefer lumbar support. Yeah, yeah, so that's pretty important. Yes. And next, show us your favorite gaming positions. Quite similar to John, but as you can see, legs a little bit longer. The little things do push my feet up a little higher out. So I would say not the most comfortable for gaming. The other thing you want to notice is that this is way too short for him. The backrest won't support his head at all. And uh, if you recline all the way down. Okay, now test how stable it is. Oh, that's pretty impressive. So what do you think of the Omega? Personally, I think it's a little too small for a person a little bit taller. Um, you'd probably opt for something a little bit wider of the base just to fill up the space and not much neck support. Okay, so next we're going over the Titan. So with the Titan, the height is actually taller by a tiny bit, but as you can see, his feet are still flat on the floor. And when you increase the height, is it still like that? So at the max height, John is tiptoeing and it's like dangling. So it's good if you are that tall and need that extra height. So with the Titan, the chair is a lot wider. So if you wiggle around your legs, does it still feel constricted? Oh, this one feels very nice, sort of spin around and doesn't seem like there's anything bothering it. And then what about the gap between your knees from the seat? Uh, there's still a little bit. I just slip my finger through still. Okay. And this is without the lumbar support pillow that the Omega has. So how does the lumbar support feel on the Titan? Actually, it feels pretty good even without it because it feels like a solid base. But not, not solid, but like still firm. You can feel like something's there. So you can actually adjust the uh, lumbar support on the side of the chair. So uh, John, do you feel the difference? Oh yeah, you can actually feel it popping out, pushing against your back a lot more. So this is a nice feature that it's uh, integrated and built in so it has a cleaner look and aesthetic. Now show us your three gamer poses and how that feels. So first, you got the one leg or... Well, this one actually feels really good now because I don't have anything blocking the sides. What about the other two? This one. You have a lot more room, so it feels a lot more comfortable because of the wider base and like a deeper, deeper length to it too. But I'll still need a table to sort of feel the full support of doing this pose. And uh, cross-legged? Yeah, you have like still the wider base and you got like a lot more room where it just feels like you're sitting on cushions. And uh, what about your shoulders? Like, is it wide enough? Is there a huge difference? I don't feel the bump anymore when I raise my arms and lean back. Yeah, you don't feel as much at all unless you like really, really push back. And then the height of the chair is good for you? Uh, I would say the height is actually a little bit too high because the neck rest at its default position right here is like up to back of my head here instead of like down here. So it feels like a lot lower. But with that, you can actually adjust the strap or take it off just behind your neck. Oh, it's like this. Yeah. Well, bam, it's fixed. Oh, problem solved. And uh, stability test. You can recline all the way down. And also the seat actually tilts as well. It's the same for the Omega. So if you want to tilt the seat. Oh, feels good. So now he's got it locked and he's going to do a, the stability freakout test. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he's pretty solid. So uh, yeah, it's pretty solid for John's height. Uh, what, what did you say about the Titan? Is it a lot better than the Omega for you? The Titan feels a lot more spacious, especially like a lot more leg room to move around and just sitting in like different positions feels a lot more comfortable to switch. Yeah, and I like this chair a lot more than the Omega. And then, okay, Noah, you're up. So this is the chair that's actually made for Noah's height and body figure. Damn, he's beautiful. So with his feet, it's flat on the floor. Is that the lowest setting? This is the lowest setting, I believe. And then the highest? Even with the highest setting, uh, just barely heels off. Yeah, so it's kind of like the Omega, right? Yeah. And uh, is the wider seat better for you? Definitely better for me, especially since I have much larger thighs. Um, and the space between the back of my knees and the seat are significantly smaller compared to the other chair. And show us your favorite seating position. So back with this one, um, definitely I can actually do this comfortably instead of having the side bolster kind of just push me up. Um, that's definitely one. Even with this chair, I can definitely do this as well, surprisingly. So the sides are very soft for you, like very comfortable. So the sides of the chair are definitely a lot softer. While they don't really cup you in, they definitely do still provide a level of support where it doesn't hinder you from moving or restricting. And what about your shoulders now? Is it like for me a uh, lot in wider? comparison to the other chair? Um, the shoulders did really hook me in and made me feel like secure. This one, on the other hand, it does give me much more shoulder space. Um, it lets me go all the way back while still giving me some level of support. Oh, so with Noah's height, the backrest isn't as tall as he is. But is it still comfortable for you? Yeah, it's still comfortable. The neck rest does work. Um, just gotta aim, move it and adjust it accordingly. Um, but besides that, um, just 
barely enough to touch the back of my head. And uh, stability test. All the way down. All the way down, and then. So it's pretty solid, ain't it? Pretty solid. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So which chair would you prefer? Clearly, I would definitely pick the Titan over the Omega. Um, that's just strictly on the fact that it's much larger and more fitting for somebody over probably like 5'10", 5'11". And then finally, you have me. I'm 5'7". I thought it would be a lot bigger, but it's actually not that much bigger. Because with the height, it's uh, very similar to the Omega. My feet are like flat on the floor here, but when I put it at maximum height, they're actually kind of dangling. So that's not really that big of a deal because uh, I can adjust the height. As for me, the seats, I can go cross-legged no problem with the Omega and on here as well. So it's actually pretty good. The only thing is that the seat is kind of really touching the back of my knees, but if I get an extra pillow, bam. So if I get a pillow like this or just any other pillow and put it as my lumbar support over here, it does give me a, that much more space. So with the bigger chair, you always have the option to add the extra pillow, which is uh, like very nice, which makes it more versatile, more comfortable and fits you better. And it's always nice to have the option of having the integrated look so it looks more simple. For myself, the shoulder width is pretty good as well. With the Omega, I do feel like it's more snug, so like it hugs me more. And that goes for the sides as well. It hugs my legs more, so it's more of a snug fit for me but with the titan it's comfortable as well what can i say and as for the sides and the head it is right where my head is so it's uh at an appropriate height for me yeah this is really stable like even if i freak out on it <sighs> it's not gonna fall well even with the omega it didn't fall so so in the end, what do you two have to say about the different chairs that you tried today? Personally, I'd take the um, Titan over the Omega just because overall fitness for people around larger sizes. Um, so personally for me, being able to move around and have that lumbar support integrated um, is definitely beneficial. And if I need more, I can always add the pillow, which, which is helpful. And personally for me, the lumbar support in the Titan is better, just the fact that it is adjustable and in integrated. While on the other hand, the Omega, it's either the lumbar support or no lumbar support at all. Yeah, I go for the Titan as well, just because like I feel a lot more open. You can like switch to a lot more positions and it feels a lot more spacious as well. Uh, one thing I noticed between the Omega and the Titan is the height of the armrest. I think the Titan is about like an inch taller than the Omega. So then when you sort of lean back and slouch, you could really feel it like pushing your shoulders up a lot more than the Omega. So Noah, what do you think the price difference between the two chairs are? Personally, I believe like the Titan is definitely much more expensive, probably about 100 to 150 more in comparison. Um, how about you? Yeah, I'd totally say like 100 to 150 actually. It feels like a lot more solid and the materials feel more high quality. Okay, so just in case you guys didn't know, that is actually the 2020 version. The PU leather is different, it's softer, the foam is softer, and it has all these metal parts, and that's the 2018 Omega. But there is a price difference between the Omega and Titan, which is just... Uh, it is actually just 60 bucks. Difference? Yeah. Oh, what the... <laughs> So I think it's safe to say that if you're my size, the Omega or Titan would work for you. But if you're Noah's size or John's size, you have to go for the Titan. Anyways, I hope we really helped you guys out to choose the right chair for you. And if you do decide to get one and want to support my channel, please use the link in the description below. It is an affiliate link. And if you do buy one, I may get a commission at no extra cost to you. So if you want to help a brother out, use my link. And that's it for now, guys. Ask if you have any questions at all. We'd love to help you out. And we'll see you in the next review. Bye. So apparently we look like M&Ms. Oh yeah. You kind of messed up. You pointed at mine when you were talking about Titan. It's okay. This will be a good blooper. <laughs> Feels really comfortable. And then I think it'll be a lot better with the table. The this feels so cringe, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh.